If you own a smartphone, you likely use apps every day. But there are things that you should know. That app you trust could be leaking personal information, and it might not take an experienced hacker to find it. Andrea Day with what you should watch out for before you download. From games to news to navigation. Turn left onto Lidecker Street. The global app business tops $140 billion a year, with, get this, more than 10 million downloads every hour. But with each download, according to experts, comes the risk of your private information leaking out. Maybe it's leaking your username, your password, and your credit card information just by you hitting a single button. Anything that they may have put into that tool is, uh, is vulnerable. Michael Covington is a VP at the mobile security firm Wandera. Their recent study uncovered more than 200 mobile apps and websites leaking personal data. As an information security professional was not aware that this many brands were not protecting that information. Major brands we won't name here, but Covington says his group alerted the app developers. I've seen some of the parties usually react by having a new app or a new website out within 24 hours. And in other cases, they don't even pick up the phone. There's so much demand for each service provider to have an app available for their customers that there's a push to accelerate their time to market. Some of the findings, close to 60% of all leaks coming from news, sports, and shopping apps. And 80% of the top 50 adult sites were found leaking personal data. But what was really surprising was that about 85% of the data leaks that we saw actually included a password. If you think about the combination of a username and a password, that's all that you need as an attacker to get access to everything else that might be in an account. And he says fake Wi-Fi hotspots where hackers pretend to be a trusted network are on the rise, making the unsecured info easy to grab. There is no attack required on a mobile device when it is freely giving away information in an unprotected way. His advice? Think twice about the type of info you enter. A company that's providing a, a free news feed shouldn't be asking for credit card information, dates of birth, uh, and social security numbers. And his other advice is to read the reviews before you blindly trust any app, especially one that's just landed in the app store. Don't be patient zero. Give the app some time to sort the kinks out before you try it. For Nightly Business Report, I'm Andrea Day.